What are you doing, little stinker? Did you find a bone? Let me see. Let me see it. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, let me get that. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. All right, so storm's coming in. Uh, it's actually right on the horizon here. Right there, the sun's about ready to go behind the front that's coming in. And it's really snowing like crazy over there. I was over there earlier today. Had to drive over and go pick up my cot. So today, you know, like I said, I got the cot, which is great. I'm up off the ground, much more comfortable. It's kind of like a nice little apartment in here now. But I forgot my hiking boots or my, my snow boots. So I was like, yeah, I gotta get my snow boots today. Went over there, got the cot, forgot the, forgot the boots. So, uh, but the plan is I got more wood. So that way I can actually have the vestibule open here while the snowstorm is going on. And then I can work on some stuff out there. And then got kind of like a comfortable seating area set up. Put a little blanket, a little 12 volt um, heating pad over the seat there. So when I'm sitting next to the stove and getting it warmed up in the morning, you know, it's nice and warm. And then same setup that, that we saw earlier, you know, just the other day, I mean, I'm still in the same spot. Just kind of uh, shuffling a few things around. I am storing a lot of wood in here. I was able to get some really good pieces, some big pieces of black walnut and stuff like that. So uh, I'm really excited to have that because that's a good hardwood that I can get up to like probably like five, five and a half hour burns out of them. So if I set the the uh, the airflow in the front pretty low and then the damper on the back set that to like maybe 25%, then I'll be able to get like a really good um, long burn. See, I just got a text here. Huh, it's got a text from Baron. Hoping it dumps on us, lol, because he's just down the road, he and Elsa. So, I'm really excited to have them here, by the way, because I, you know, I've been winter camping now. Let's see, I've been out since before Thanksgiving, and I've only had one night where I've had somebody with me, and so the whole, whole of the time I've been solo. And so, it's kind of nice to have, you know, friends close, and we'll be able to hang out maybe tonight or tomorrow. It's supposed to, so the, the, the forecast, let me get this. The forecast um, for tonight is saying two to four inches at this location, and then tomorrow another two to four inches, and then I think on Saturday, like another inch or two inches. I can't remember which what, what, what it is. So there could be a possibility of up to eight to ten inches, the eight to ten inches over here, which would be really awesome. That'd be great for this time of year, like, like right before Christmas. So we'll see what we can get and. Uh, go from there but I got a few more chores to take care of before we can hunker down for the evening so let's knock this out before this front uh, gets over us Look how heavy this snow is right here. Like, that's, that's a good amount right there. So, I think the name of the game today is just chilling. I think the name of the game today is just hanging out in camp with Sierra and going over and seeing Baron and Elsa and just kind of relaxing. So let's get you your breakfast going, girl. Come on, why don't you come up here? There you go, come on up. Good girl. All right, let's get you going.
All right, now this is supposed to last all night. It's, it's midnight right now. I just started up. It's supposed to last till 5 a.m. And so the wind gusts right now are going up to 35 miles an hour. And uh, it's snowing. I can hear the snow kind of every once in a while, just kind of hitting the tent. And um, <clears throat> it's supposed to be like this off and on, like I said, throughout the night. So right now the temperature outside, I think, is around 10 degrees. And the wind chill is about negative 5. And so got the stove going really good. Everything's going great with that. And um, only thing is, is I've been running it so much that actually I, I want to show you this. I've got I've got tons of ash in the stove, in the stove box. Let me show this to you real quick. All right. So since I've been running the stove so much, when I open this up here, you'll see that I have a, a really a ton of ash in the bottom of the stove box here, right down here. And what that does, that makes it toward the bottom of the stove here. It's not really that hot underneath because the the ash what it does is it'll in, it ends up insulating the bottom of the stove and so that's the one drawback to having really cold weather like this is that you know you run your stove a lot and then you need to ash it in the middle of the night and there's really not a convenient place to do that so then you end up putting in smaller pieces of wood and you don't get as long of a burn so it's kind of something to be mindful of if you're working with the wood stove Okay, so you saw how in that last clip how the stove pipe was just kind of just going back and forth. I don't have it screwed in to the stove and the reason for that is the stove itself is super heavy and so the base of it is solid. The base isn't going anywhere. And then up here where the stove actually, the stove pipe goes through the stove jack there, that's, that's, pretty, that's a pretty snug fit. And so it holds it in pretty good. And I've noticed that when I when I did have it screwed in before, I, I had the stovepipe screwed in my first winter camping, and it would make all these clanking noises because it would um, uh, like the wind would come and it would it would strain it really hard and it would be like and make all these noises and it'd go back and way more so than it's doing now. And so I just found I, the method I use. I just I call it like the floating method. <laughs> so it just kind of just sits the stovepipe in there. And when you run the stove after a couple of days, a little bit of um, debris and stuff and, and creosote will will uh, will build up on the inside, and it actually kind of weighs it down and makes it heavy. And so that that will keep it in the stove opening there on top on top of the stove box, and it won't come out of my stove at all. Now I think if this was just sitting out in the open, didn't have the 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 stove um, stove jack holding it in place. I think there'd be a, a real big risk of the stovepipe possibly like coming apart or something like that. But um, the sections right now, because there's four sections that I put together of the stovepipe, you can see the damper section right here, the first section, and the start of the second section up there. But there's two more sections that go up. And so um, those are all holding together fine right now. And I don't think these winds are bad enough. I mean, the worst winds I've ever had, these, these are about 35 miles an hour right now, and the worst winds I've ever had have been 70 miles an hour. That was horrible. I mean, it just your whole tent, like all the walls are flexing like crazy all the time. It just sounds like a freight train running through your tent and you can't get any sleep at all. So, but tonight's not bad. It's just coming in waves. And so you can't get any sleep because you try to go to bed and then you wake up because you get um, slammed with a, you know, a really loud wind rush and, and tent noise about every two or three minutes. So you can't really go to sleep. So it's gonna be a long night. Yeah, so we got some condensation build up from all the snow that's been melting outside. So this is all the ice on the interior of the tent right now. And uh, what I'll do in the morning is this flakes off pretty easy. So I'll just um, flake it all off before it starts melting and then pick it up from off the ground and throw it in the stove or something like that or throw it over by the stove. But you can kind of see, you know, how the, how the moisture kind of tracks down, you know, these folds in the tent here. Then we'll go down and go all the way down to like the the floor of the tent there. And what'll happen is if I don't get this all picked up and see as you can see actually kind of like a lot like right there. There's a lot of ice on the seam right there. What'll happen is if I don't get this picked up, then it'll all melt and then it will drain down this way and kind of gather down underneath um, the, the tent floor down there. So Gonna have a lot of chores to do in the morning. It's a little too hot.
I have to ash the stove right now because there's so much coals and, and uh, spent ash in there that uh, it's, it's, um, let me turn this off, let me start over again. Uh, I'm gonna need to go ahead and ash this stove because it's really built up at the moment. If we, if we look in here, let me see, let me get my head wrap on. If we look in here, there's way too much uh, spent coals and stuff like that for me to be able to put in more wood. So we gotta get some of these out of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and ash this thing right now. And I really don't wanna do that because with the wind, it's gonna be crazy to try to get this outside and uh, and and and, uh, and put out in the fire pit because with all the wind, the ash can get up in your eyes and stuff like that. With it being hot, that's kind of dangerous. That's okay. It can be kind of messy though with the wind and you know whipping around and stuff like that. So let's ash this real quick and we'll take it outside. All right, it's looking like we got some uh, some fog out here, and so I want to go outside and check this out. So I'm going to throw some clothes on and run outside real quick. Ooh, look at the snow. Oh, we got a lot. All right, let's get out there, and um, I'm not going to put any of this off or brush any of them off. I want to see what it's like. What's up, girl? Pretty out here. Look at all this fog. All right, the tent's covered. Got a decent amount of snow last night. This is, I'd say, probably about three inches, maybe three or four inches total. So it's uh, definitely, definitely a snowy start to the day. It's not as cold as I thought it would be. Um, and it's nice because there's no wind, so all the snow is really starting to accumulate and staying in, in, the, in one spot, so it's really pretty though. Look at that fog, there's tons of fog. It looks like a little break right there. I don't think we're going to get any, any solar action today. Let's go check the panel. Let's go check the panel over here and see what we're looking at as far as how much snow accumulated on it. That's on an angle, so there's a decent amount of snow last night for sure. Check it out, icicles, I love these things. They always form on all the, where the guy lines attach to the tent here, and then this will have like a big old piece of ice on it. Throughout the weekend it'll get bigger. Doing over there, girl. Oh, what's up, Rosie? Come here. Come here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? So we can do that, Rosie. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Over here, buddy. Come here. Over this way. Hey. Some more fog coming right here. It's this is about ready to hit camp. Look at this. This is such a cool shot. Oh, I wonder if this is going to be more snow or just fog. It's about ready to hit camp. It's coming in in waves. We've had some fog rolling through this morning. There was like fog over there that's uh, rolling towards Baron and Elsa. And we have this fog right here coming towards me. Hey Sierra, let's go to the trailhead. Come here, let's go for a walk. Come on, girl, let's go for a walk. Come here. I'm 
Now I'll find you. What you doing? All right. It is dead silent out here. There's no wind at all. I mean, like, there's none. So this is, whoops. Oh, this is really pretty. I, uh, when I was over at the storage unit yesterday getting my cot, I forgot my hiking boots. So all I have are my, my, uh, just trail shoes, which they're not, not nearly what I need out here, but I know I'll make do. There was one time I actually put, um, my feet inside plastic bags and, uh, had some boots that were really shoddy, really shot. It's a dumb fucking story. Wanna go hiking in the wilderness area, sweetie? All right. We should go back and finish our breakfast. Let's go back and finish our breakfast. Come on, let's go sleep, pumpkin. Let's here. Let's go to camp. Come on, baby girl. Come on, Speed, let's go. All right, so I went yesterday and I got all my supplies that I need. So I could stay out here for, gosh, I think about 10 days if I really, if I really wanted to and not leave. Um, well, the only thing is I do need to leave. I still haven't picked up the do water purifier yet. I got that Icon Lifesaver jerry can. So once I get that, I'll be able to stay out just indefinitely. I'm thinking about adding another 20 gallon gas uh, storage container for my truck, like uh, underneath the the, uh, the back there where the spare used to be. Since I have the spare on the back of my truck now, I could put 20 gallon um, tank and a spare one right underneath here, right in that spot where the spare normally goes. And uh, then I have extra range when I'm out. Come on, let's go inside. Gosh, this is this is heavy. How heavy this snow is right here. That's, that's a good amount right there. I think the name of the game today is just hanging out in camp with Sierra and going over and seeing Baron and Elsa and just kind of relaxing. So let's get you your breakfast going, girl. Come on. Why don't you come up here? There you go. Come on up. 